status on Victor Arvidsson, potential timeline return for him? Yeah, I mentioned yesterday he's close. He's back out there skating in today, so uh, we'll get reports. Uh, I don't know the exact game, but I know he's really close. Would it be as soon as today? Would that be a possibility? I think it's a possibility, but we're not sure. Okay. With him, I'm sure he's already beating on your door saying, I'm ready to go, I want to play. You have to almost protect him from himself, knowing he's important down the stretch, you want him available in one yeah. way. Yeah, well I really want him myself, but we leave that to the medical staff, because probably if it was up to me and, and Victor, he'd be playing, he would have been playing on the road trip, you know what I mean? So, uh, we respect the medical staff, uh, they know a bit, lot better than both of us. He knows his body, of course, but uh, he's close and, and when we get him, you know, we'll, we'll welcome him back, but in the meantime, uh, if he's not playing tonight, we've got to get out there and get after it without him. Do you Morning skates as of late. We've seen maybe a, a deviation from having more guys out there to a, a smaller group. Do you leave it up specifically to the players? Or are you even encouraging guys, hey, don't skate, preserve your legs, we want you for tonight? Uh, it's optional. Um, and, you know, we, we didn't mention anything about that today, but we have in the past, you know, said our preference is you don't skate, but you do what you need to do to be ready for the game tonight. I think the players, we practiced yesterday, practiced pretty good. You look, you say a back to back. Um, you know, had we not. In coming up on a back-to-back, -back, you probably would have seen more people out there. But they're conserving their energy as they should do because, you know, when the puck drops in the evening, that's the most important time to have your legs. Playing a team you played two games ago, you had success against. Any changes in the way you'd approach this one? No, we, we what we did well there was we limited their, their odd man rushes. So and what we didn't do very well in St. Louis and Dallas is limit the odd man rushes. So that's the game plan. We have to do that again. Uh, whether it's Chicago, whether it's Dallas, whether it's Minnesota, it doesn't matter. And that's one of the strengths is not to give odd, odd man rushes. Um, so if we can do that again tonight, we'll give ourselves the best chance. David Riddick on the ice tonight. Does that mean Calvert today, Riddick tomorrow? Kind of assume that. Yeah, we're so oh, Dennis isn't here. We'll assume. Remember, he, oh, you weren't there. Then he said, "You promised." He said to me, "You promised it." <laughs> Never assume. You can assume that for right. sure. Yeah, uh, I don't mean to split the atom here, but. Urgency, you mentioned yesterday, or is that effort? Uh, they, they might look like they go hand in hand. To, to me, ur urgency mm -hmm. is you can see it in body language. You can you can hear it on the bench in the in the way the players talk and encourage each uh, each other. Uh, so you would say it's effort. It should translate to effort. But there, to me, there's other signals beyond just the effort you see on the ice. We know when I you hear a good buzz in the room, guys are talking. The tone is maybe a little bit more serious. All those kinds of things to me are, are indicators of urgency. And, you know, we got that feeling this morning here. And mm -hmm. We'll make sure uh, we, we see that again tonight. I mean, there's, it's great. It's awesome. We're watching the hockey every night. It's good hockey. You know, people are winning. we got to win our games. You talked about yesterday's practice being a good skate. How nice was it when practice time is so infrequent yeah, to just right. have a day when you can kind of get into it? Yeah, it, it was great. And we were able to touch on some different things. And I don't know the last time. You know, really, we had a good blow like that, 35, 40 minutes. So um, it's invaluable. You know, you do it on video as much as you can at this time of the year, but there's nothing like getting out and, and moving the puck up quick and, and having that intensity and attacking the D. So, you know, hopefully that translates um, tonight. Uh, like I said, it's something to go over in video. It's another thing to go out and actually get some physical reps on it. When you have a back-to-back -back at home, does it change the preparation routine versus a back-to-back -back on the road? No, I mean... No, I wouldn't say so much, no. Uh, you know, the routine always is, you're not concerned about the back-to-back -to -back today. Tomorrow we, we're concerned about the back. Today is just a game, normal game day. We're playing hockey. Uh, so tomorrow, you know, there's a little, little bit of a different approach on the back-to-back. -back, um, it stays the same as it is on the road.